OneSong is a great tool to get you organized, but is an amazing tool for live performances as well. One of the key features for live performances is the Heads Up Display Bar, or I'm going to call it the HUD. The HUD allows you to see specific data or control certain areas of your library quickly and with ease. The Heads Up Display is the rectangle area that displays the title of the song you are viewing. To change the HUD view, you will swipe right to left or left to right depending on what view is currently being displayed. I'm going to swipe right to left to view the next HUD display view. The view is showing us the title of the song we are currently viewing and what book we have selected. Here I will select John's book and you will see the HUD update and list the book title under the song title. The next HUD view pertains to sets. So let's view a set and select a song and you will see the song title at the top as well as the set title below. This way, if you are doing a long gig and have multiple sets for that gig, you can see with just a glance which set you are in. Our next HUD view shows us what song we are currently on and which song is up next in the set. You will also notice that it displays the key of the next song in parentheses so that you can be prepared for the transition to come. Sometimes you may be limited in how long you can play for a set. This next heads up display view is the timer. Before we get started, we need to have a duration assigned to the song. You can assign a duration by tapping and holding on the auto scroll button, which is the down arrow button in the live bar. You can then slide or tap to change the duration. For more information on setting a duration of your songs, watch the auto scroll video tutorial at onsongapp.com slash videos slash tutorials slash auto scroll. We see that there are two timers and a play button. The timer on the left is our song timer. The timer on the right is our set timer. We can have them count up or count down just by tapping on the numbers to toggle between the two options. The small arrows on the sides indicate if the timer is counting up or counting down. Here you can see I set the set timer to count up. There are different ways you can start the timers. You can tap on the play button between the timers. Starting auto scroll or a backing track will also start the timers. To pause the timers, just tap the pause button here. If you need to reset the timers, tap on the numbers to reset. When you navigate to the next song in a set, the song timer is set to zero while the set timer continues. If you navigate to another set, the set timer will reset to zero as well. You will also notice the numbers will turn red if the timer runs over the set amount of time. This will help you keep track of time and prevent you from running long at a performance. If you use backing tracks during a performance, you may be interested in our next Heads Up Display view. The audio playback view gives you a play button as well as a scrubber for moving to a specific part of the track. Let's start by tapping and holding on the play button to link a backing track to our song. Once we have a track assigned to our song, we can tap on the play button to start playing the backing track. A pause button will then appear so you can pause the playback. You can tap and drag in the scrubber to move the song forward or backwards. You will see the elapsed time on the left and remaining time on the right. You can control the volume of your track with this icon here. When you have backing tracks linked from iTunes Media Library or Spotify, you will see you can control the master volume of the device. If you have a backing track linked from the Onsung Media Library, then you have control over the device volume with the main volume slider, or change the volume of that specific track using the volume adjustment slider. This is an adjustment that gets saved with the audio track and is relative to the main volume of the device. You can also control the balance of music with the pan adjustment. Again, you can just tap and drag to make an adjustment, or tap on the sides to fine tune adjust. 
You can even tap in the middle of the pan slider to center it. The button on the far right lets you route audio. Here, we can choose to send audio to the headphone jack, airplay, or an audio interface. The last HUD display view is the memory utilization bar. During a live performance, it may be important to monitor how many resources Onsong is consuming. This view displays how much memory Onsong is consuming on the left, as well as the amount of free memory on the right. As more memory is used by Onsong, these numbers may increase as other apps are removed from memory. If you would like to research the HUD a bit more, or just start digging into the user manual, here is the link, onsongapp.com slash docs slash HUD. If you have any further questions or concerns, please go to onsongapp.com support.